So if you're considering the Gigabyte Aero 15 XC for 3D modeling or architecture, you're making a really good choice. Now, as you can see in the benchmarks, Autodesk Maya, Autodesk 3ds Max, and PTC Creo are all topping the charts of any laptop I've ever reviewed on this channel. Now, do note that SolidWorks is falling a bit behind, and the reason is, is this does not have a Quadro Workstation GPU. This has a GeForce gaming-based GPU, and SolidWorks really prefers, if not dogmatically, only considers Quadro Workstation GPU. So if you're considering SolidWorks, I'd recommend something like the Asus StudioBook Pro 17 or the HP ZBook Power G7. These two laptops have Quadro Workstation GPUs. Now the next question is, should you get 16 or 32 gigs of RAM? The test you just previously saw was with 32 gigs of RAM, and the tests I'm now showing you are with 16 gigs of RAM. So as you can see, you're gonna get much better performance out of the 32 gigs, but it's not a dramatic difference. So you could definitely get away with 16 gigs. I do have a full review, which you can check out here if you want to learn more about the Gigabyte Aero 15 XC. Otherwise, links if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you don't want to miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you in the next one.